Welcome to the introduction to particle systems. The goal of this video series is to get you up and running with the creation of particle-based effects inside of Unreal Engine 3. That's right, and we're going to kick things off with this first video by taking a look at some basic terminology. We'll begin with a look at particles. What exactly are particles, and what can we do with them? From there, we're going to move over to some of the terminology that you're going to see inside Unreal Ed itself. We're going to look at emitters and particle systems. From there, we're going to take a few minutes and look at this demonstration level that Zach has put together that that has two different particle effects in them. They're both very cool effects, and we're going to walk you through the creation of both of them throughout this series. After we've looked at those different effects that we've got in place, we're then going to take a look at Cascade, the Unreal Ed Particle System Editor. We're not going to, of course, go into the UI in this video, but we are going to take a very quick look at it so that you can see what Cascade looks like with a working particle system in it. That's right. Give you kind of an idea of how those particle systems are put together and how they flow to providing that effect in your level. That's right. And then after that, we'll close this video out, start a new one where we'll begin the creation of these different particle systems that you're about to see here in a second, as well as take a very close look at how Cascade works. So, Zach, let's first start out with some terminology. Particles, what are they? Well, a particle is really nothing more than a point in space that can be animated and has some sort of effect attached to it. That's right. Now, in most cases, this effect is going to be a small plane of geometry called a sprite, which always faces the camera and always has some sort of material applied to it so that the player can see it. That's right. And the moment you take a whole bunch of these points with sprites attached to them or even geometry and you start mixing them together, you can really begin to create nice effects. Things such as rain, smoke, fire, snow, uh, mystical type effects. Yeah, you can do that magic thing. There are teleportation effects. Really, anything that you've ever seen that is based on small... Pl I want to keep saying particles. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole idea is what are particles? That's right. So any you've seen like little points, dust, clouds, whatever, and it makes you go, wow, that's cool. It's probably a particle effect. That's right. And Cascade is a very powerful editor. The things that you can do in Unreal Engine 3 with particles truly are amazing. Now, in regards to levels, how does it work? How do we get these particles in place? Well, we create create particle systems. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is a particle system? A particle system is a collection of emitters that have different modules tied to them that affect how particles are going to be emitted into the world. That's right. And it sounds really technical at first, but think of a particle system as a container that is going to hold the different parts of an effect. That's right. For example, let's say you had a simple campfire, which we're going to create something very similar in this video series. But what goes into it? You have your flames, you have some smoke, you have some sparks, and and each one of those elements is going to be created by a separate emitter. The particle system will enclose all of those emitters into a single unit that can be placed into your level through an emitter actor. So what is an emitter? Well, an emitter is kind of like a weapon. How we've got weapons inside of Unreal Tournament, what do they do? Weapons generally shoot projectiles. Well, an emitter shoots a projectile. The projectile is our particle. Right. So generally, we're going to be shooting a lot of projectiles or a lot of particles. It's a particle maker. That's, that's what, emitter what is. it is. It's just emitting particles. So that's a quick look at some of the terminology that we're going to be dealing with. Now let's take a look at this demonstration level. All right. So let's do the play from here bit. And when we start off, uh-oh. Oh, we got one of those loving errors. Yeah. <laughs> Try this again. And here we go. Much better. Okay, we start out. Check it out. We've got this dragon statue here, and he is shooting sparks out of his mouth. Check out the sparks. As they hit the ground, they bounce off the ground. But not only that, as he's shooting sparks out of his mouth, occasionally he's shooting out bursts. As a matter of fact, it's two bursts following one another that are being shot out. Just a big burst of particles. Again, all part of the effect that's been put together. That's right. Now, this is a very simple effect, but if you take a look, you can see that each one of the, the points in space you know, are a little tiny any sprite, a little piece of geometry that is stretching out, and it's always facing the camera, so that as I rotate around it, you never really see the particles on edge. They kind of seem to have a volumetric effect because they're always looking Sorry, at it. It almost feels like it's 3D, but it's yeah. really not. Okay, so this is one of the effects that we're going to be putting together. Now let's go ahead and wander over here to this other room. Ooh, now we have a fire, we've got flames, we've got smoke, we've got little sparks twirling all around. And we've got lights that are bouncing around, which actually are not part of the particle system, but it's part of the overall effect. That's right. So we're going to walk you through the creation of all of this. So this is a more involved particle system, of course, as we see multiple parts of it in place. But it's even... More sophisticated than that, as Zach has got a very simple matinee and kismet sequence set up to control this effect so we can do something really cool. Check this out. Click the switch. Ah, we turn the fire off. The lights dim down. All of our jumping shadows are gone. Now let's go and turn it back on. And boom, it all comes back to life. 
Very nice. That's and right. again, we're going to take a look at how we can put all of this together in this video series here. All right, so now that we're done with uh, that little demonstration, let's take a quick look at Cascade, which is Unreal Ed's particle editing system. So we'll go ahead and open this kind up. Kind of like with materials. With materials, you'll go into your generic browser, and you will create a new material. From there, you'll be able to jump into the material editor. Same thing applies for particles. You'll go into your generic browser, you'll create a new particle system, and then from there, you'll jump into Unreal Cascade. Now, here's a quick look at Cascade. Now, we're not going to be going over what is actually going on in here, just kind of exposing you to it. No, the idea of this video is to show you that we have an editor, and in this editor, we can control everything about our particle system right here. That's right, but I will say this. Earlier on, we were talking about the difference between emitters and particle systems, and here inside of Cascade, we are looking at the entire particle system itself, but we can see each one of the emitters that are creating our effects. We have a flame emitter, a smoke emitter, and a spark emitter, and I can actually turn these off and you can see, in this case, here's only the flames working in our preview window. I can turn off the flames and just turn on the smoke, which you can just barely make out because it's against a dark background. And then if I want to, I can just turn on the sparks. So it's just a, a way to demonstrate the fact that we have three separate emitters all combining to create one final effect. That's right. And as I said a few minutes ago, Cascade is very powerful. There's a lot of control that we have over these particles in here. And it's going to be really exciting for us to take a trip down module lane and show you how we can put all these things together. Well, absolutely. You're going to find that Cascade actually has a lot of the same kind of power found in today's biggest effects packages used in films today. All right. Well, with that, that's pretty much everything we wanted to show you in this introductory video. So we'll go ahead and bring this video to a close. And in the next video, we'll start taking a closer look at Cascade and the creation of our first particle system. Let's go.